The audience is mad hype right now. After the end of the My Hero Academia movie. <laughs> So My Hero Academia, the movie, two heroes, a tale of two heroes, or whatever it's being referred to as, was a pretty damn good movie. Um, definitely wasn't like the best movie I've seen or whatever, but it was fantastic. Uh, for what it was, a relatively small scale, uh, relatively not much is going on. Actually, the villainous motivation in this movie, if you can even call it that, was, uh, was for, uh, technically speaking, it was for a good cause. This movie starts um, pretty interestingly enough. Uh, from 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 the way the movie starts, and from the title of the movie, you would think this movie would be all about uh, All Might and Midoriya, but the rest of his friends show up along the way. Uh, the movie basically finds excuses to get get you know the class um, 1A together from UA. But even with that being said, I will say that this movie's biggest drawback to me, uh, I guess from a critical standpoint. The students in the film, uh, and, um, the UA students, for the most part, don't need to be in the movie. Um, there's a good chunk of them that are here just to be in the movie, just to talk and literally do nothing. They kind of just sit around the hotel, and then there's some that go out on this little makeshift mission. Now I understand the reason for this, because some students were here and some students were there, and you know, it just the way the situation happened. But um, a good chunk of the students basically didn't do anything. And then, um, even for the ones that kind of tagged along for the little ride, for the for the mission at hand, uh, it really came down to, as always, um, Katsuki, Ida, Kirishima, Todoroki, and Deku to do everything. For the other characters that were around, their contribution was small, not much, and mostly used for the sake of comedy. Especially the, the female students, they're kind of here just for like, I really feel like they're here for this one scene where they where they all get dressed up in, for this party they're going to, and it's just to glamify their dresses and stuff. That's pretty much their contribution to the movie. But even besides that, the movie still has a lot going for it, it has a lot of great things going for it. The best parts of the movie in general, I, I would say for me, would be the beginning section. Um, in the beginning section of the movie, it focuses more on All Might. And then, uh, that that stuff was pretty damn cool to see. Uh, you get to see some stuff we had we we haven't seen yet. All might in a different environment, and just seeing him interact with those people in that environment was cool. Uh, the rest of the movie focuses m mostly on Deku and um, a friend he make, he ma he makes along the way. Uh, there was actually a manga chapter about it, but she's a lot older now. And I mean, outside of that, yeah, we're gonna see the movie was just fun. It was good to see. He had a lot of comedy. I found myself laughing a lot. Uh, the energy of the audience I went to go see it with was awesome, so it gave me kind of a unique experience because everybody was cheering and stuff, and whenever stuff happened, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> it, it was overall a pretty damn enjoyable movie. Uh, fucking All Might is, is fantastic, and it, as much All Might is in this movie, it's just, it's just great. It's a great time, honestly, I'm glad I really got to go see it. I'm glad I got to see it in theaters, it was a pretty cool experience. Um, the ending part of this movie... Without to take a spoiler or anything, the ending part of this movie, it just, it's 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 so iconic. It was so cool to see uh, these two characters working together. It was so cool to see these two characters um, just teaming up and and like it's something you have to see for yourself. It's like it's one of the greatest things ever. I don't and I don't think we'll ever get a, a moment like this in my hero. This movie might be the only case of it ever happening. Um, so for what that was, it, it was fantastic. It was cool to see that. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Outside, outside of that, I would say it was a great movie. It was it felt it felt um the pacing of it felt pretty quick. The movie kind of seemed like it wasn't that long, even though it was a little bit longer than, than it felt like, because it kind of just the movie kind of hit a beat to 20, 30 minutes into the movie. Kind of already knew what was going to happen next. It was very predictable in that sense. I will say, like uh, you kind of knew the next thing that was going to happen, and then the next thing was going to happen. It, it got the unpredictability came in the very, very final act during the final battle. There were several times when I thought the final battle was over, but then it, it extended and it kept going a little bit longer. So that was cool. But up until that point, the movie kind of, you kind of knew exactly what was going to happen. You kind of knew who was going to split off and why they were going to split up and why why these characters are going to go over here and do this and why these characters are going to go over here there and do that. It was a very, uh, it was very obvious 
very tropey, but you know, it's an anime movie. What can, you know, you expect that to happen, right? So, but other than that, it was just fun. Really, what else can I say besides two heroes? That it was just, it was just great. It was, it was just a fun time. I had a good time watching it. It was cool to see, and I will say though, the ending of this movie, man. Like that climax, that scene, that team up, it's just something you just have to see for yourself. It was great, and uh, man, I hope we get to see something like this again. If not, then at least we got to see it in this movie. But, I don't know. Anyway, it's your boy, Selfish. Hi, oh, Hydra. like something important. <laughs> I didn't like how he just he made a MacGuffin for the for the final boss. <laughs> I mean, it's not like Harrison Wells level of MacGuffin. When like every episode, the, the well, at least with him, it's like he made it you know for a genuine a, attempt to try to do something good. Yeah. yeah the wrong way of doing it. Those are some of the best villains. Yeah. Doing something good but in a bad way. What was it? What is it? The the, the road to hell is paved with good intentions. America! America! Right? This movie took place in America! 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 United States of Smash, right? United States of Smash. 